right, welcome to Beagles and Bottles. This is Lori. It's February, but the 22nd of February. Okay, it's too bright that way. Nice to see you all again. I thought I'd pop on here real quick. Mother of four from San Diego County. Um, coming with you to share my love of knitting on this beautiful morning. I have a finished object here, which is your, which is my Free Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. This is number two I've made. The first one was for my mother in a brighter, pinker tone. This one, I wanted to be more subtle and go with more things. So these are just colors I had. This one reminds me of the ocean. Nice beachy colors. And I made it a little bit smaller than the last one I made, which I love because yesterday I wore it and I was able to just like put it on top with my jacket and it was so nice and it's actually been raining here once again. Um, we are actually getting rain in San Diego. So, there's that for you. Ruby, you wanna say hi? Ruby! Penny! They're overlooking at our kitties. Okay, so, we had something very strange and sad happen in our house uh, a couple months ago. I had been asking my husband to get a cat for a long time and finally he said okay. And we had adopted a kitty and we named her Luna. And I showed her pictures briefly on the podcast. She was a beautiful cat, solid white, blue eyes. And it was funny when we got her from uh, the Humane Society she only cost $20. It was such a deal. And it was in the holiday time when money is kind of tight because you're buying all the presents for the kids. So it was awesome. And uh, they actually said, pick your price. And I'm like, yeah, 20 bucks. Perfect. She was such a beautiful cat. And we couldn't believe that we got her for only $20. Um, so we did have her for a bit. She, she wasn't the friendliest of cats, but she was kind of warming up to us. Um, the man had actually warned me not to get the cat when I, we adopted her, said that white cats get a lot of health problems, they can have cancer, they're so light, don't put them by the, the window if you have a cat tree. And I said, no, I'd like to have this cat. She's a perfect cat. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this cat. And she ended up having a major health issue. Um, we only had her about six months and... She's part of the family at that point, so it was, in, it was very difficult for the family. Um, we took her into the vet real briefly because she was having issues going to the bathroom. I thought she was just constipated because I noticed I wasn't um, having to clean out the litter box. And she actually had um, fluid that was filling up into her lungs and into her stomach. Um, and she ended up passing away that day. So they ended up having to, they tried pumping the fluid out of her, um, and it, what was it? It was heart failure. So she had a heart problem that was leading to the fluid that was gathering, and it was pretty terrible. So um, we ended up adopting two more cats. We waited about a month because we really wanted to have a cat in our house, and all the kids love the kitty. Um, this is what the for your food looks like. So I'm going to put in a clip of our new cats and their absolute blessings. They're sisters. And um, again, I, they were like 20 bucks a cat. It was quite a deal adopting them. It was perfect. I went in just to check and see what cats they had. And they had these kitties. There was like seven of them that were all in the same litter that they had found um, just off on the side of the road. They're just like alley cats. They're they're definitely not as beautiful as Luna was, um, but they are amazing tabbies and we love them so much. They have such personalities and they're such a blessing. They're so much more playful. They're a bit younger um, than Luna was. Uh, and they're like five months. Luna was like closer to a year when we adopted her. So yeah, they're amazing. So I'll pop in a clip of the kitties and um, that's probably the newest thing going on around here. Okay, so what else I've been working on? 
Um, I got into doing some color work on these Cup of Hot Cocoa socks by Stone Knits. I saw this up on Instagram and I thought this, these were adorable and I wanted to make these for my daughter for Christmas. And this is my first real go at color work, especially on socks. I had, I've done a hat, but I didn't know what I was doing with the color work and um, it had hearts on it and it ended up being way too small. So it was more for like a newborn and I was planning for like a kid size hat. Um, so that was, that was a no go on that, but I do have the pattern still, so I'll probably have a go at it again now that I know more what I'm doing. So this is the first sock I made. Um, I made the one that said it was for 64 stitches because my um, the size I usually make for socks is 64. I did not see in the pattern that it says that you should make a size up. So um, I should have made it bigger. This actually fits my eight year old and I mean, the sock is adorable, but I had my daughter try it on. First of all, I realized doing, I was doing it on DPNs and at the corners, the um, floats were way too tight. It wasn't stretching out. So then um, I ripped it down after I did on the DPNs because I noticed it was way too tight. Tried it on her again after I did it with a magic loop and it was better, but it was still too tight. I think Magic Loop is the way to go. Even though the pattern says you can use DPNs or Magic Loop, I would definitely do Magic Loop on another go, and I've ordered a bigger needle because I actually, this was done in a size zero, and I, I ordered a size two Magic Loop now to do it again, seeing that this fits my eight-year-old instead of my daughter. Now I also, um, I went again and I did a second sock and I was thinking, I'll oh, just, maybe I'll make these up for my eight year old because it fits him. It's still kind of tight on him. And I mean, the floats, they look pretty good, but so I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't want him to outgrow it. So, um, so I did the second sock in the size up. Now the problem I'm finding with this one is the cuff is gonna be baggy. It does fit my daughter, but it's gonna be going the cuff is gonna be so slouchy. So I don't understand that with the pattern, why they would have you do such a big cuff because obviously, like, you know, my leg is not this big all the way up. I mean, so I don't know how that's supposed to work. I mean, I'd much rather do the 64 cuff and then, and then switch and go, they do have you do increases to get to this point before you do the color work. Um, and so that makes it bigger at this point, but why I would wanna start with it bigger. So I'm gonna keep experimenting and see what works for me. I do love these and I think the color work is so cute. And I'm thinking, I this is why I especially wanted to do my YouTube today. I am going to steak these. I'm going to sew down them. I'm gonna cut them open and I'm going to put them together and I'm gonna make like a mug rug. I think that'll be amazing. And then I can use these bits that have taken me, you know, a couple weeks. They're really not that hard to do. Um, it does just take some time and it definitely takes my concentration. I have to make sure I know what row I'm on, how many exactly I'm doing, you know. So that's been a fun project. So Stone Knits has some amazing towels that I've noticed that I want to start doing. They're so cute. The doodles, cows. I saw the Portland one that I love that has the coffee and it has the trees and bicycles and all that fun stuff. Okay, I'm trying to find a pattern oops, to um, use this yarn that I have. This is the Cascade Eco and I actually have three balls of this. Now, it's a little bit bigger. I'm noticing that I'm not a chunky fan or I'm not a fan of chunky yarn these days. I started out chunky thinking this is easy, it's gonna go really fast. But um, yeah, I'm, I like much finer of a knit. Like I'd really love to do um, some smaller gauge projects. So I have a couple. This one I've done before. This is the Lydia. I might do the Lydia tank. 
It's a cute little tank. I did that in cotton before. Um, but I don't know. I kind of want to do something different, even though I do like the tank top. And then this is called Scotty Vest, and I found that, and that does have sleeves on it. Um, I think that could work as well. It's gonna be awfully bulky though, so I don't know about the V-neck per se in that. It's a possibility. There's the other style where it doesn't have the ribbing going all the way, like under the bust all the way down to the stomach. I kind of like that a little more, I don't know. So those could work, but then this morning I happened upon the Tolsta tee. Let's see, I think I printed it here. And, oh yeah, it's right here. I think this would be very lovely in that pink. So this is the Tolsta, and this is the one with the holes. There's also like a plain, so it's just like a, a shirt, like a t-shirt kind of pattern, so. Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel so I can be encouraged to keep making these videos for you. I hope you're enjoying your knitting. And I'm looking forward to March coming. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. See my little gnomes. You guys take care. You're having a good week. princesses. Look at the baby. They're so cute. They're so sweet, huh? Are you loving your sister? Are you touching her neck? Is that a love pet? Is that a love pet? Oh. She's needing her. They're so sweet. Mm. So cuties. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. They're so sweet. Hey. Hi, pretty Pepper. Where's Rosie? Rosie! This is one of our newest cats, Pepper. She talks quite a bit. Hi, Pepper! This is one of our new newest cats, Pepper. She talks quite a bit. And we also have a sister cat to Pepper named Rosie. And we got these cats a couple months ago. They're already growing so much. Hi, Pepper! Pepper is my favorite of the two. It was um, a litter of, I think, about seven cats. I do have a picture that has all the cats together. We got them at the Humane Society by our house. And they are the most amazing cats. Where's Rosie? These two sisters love each other so much. We often find them snuggling each other and grooming each other. See if we can find her. There she is. There's Rosie, girl. Hi, Rosie. Rosie is a neater and she likes to hop like up, up by my head and my neck and she takes her paws and she kneads on my shoulders and it's a little scary because sometimes her claws are out. Gives me a massage. Hi! She's a shyer cat than Pepper. She's the one that caught my attention when we got them. Sorry for the movement. Let's see. There she is. Hey Rosie girl! It's both of the girl. Oh, let me see if I can back up. Hi! Very sweet little kitties. Where are you? So, so my husband cut these bars off of our gate. This helps to keep our dogs from going upstairs so the cats can come down if they want.
Yeah.